and girls, I am so excited to spend this time with you. You may be wondering why I'm wearing this. I did not get to celebrate St. Patrick's Day with you. So I'm gonna wear this the whole time we're spending together today, okay? Did you guys have fun on St. Patrick's Day? Did any of you build leprechaun traps? More importantly, did any of you catch any leprechauns? If you did, I want to know about it. So let me tell you what we're going to do. You'll notice that up above my head, it says CM lunch break. That's right. We're going to spend our lunch breaks together. Guess how many times we're going to do that? Not once, not twice, but three times per week. That's right. Every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at noon, we're going to post a video to keep you connected with us in children's ministry. Now, you guys may be wondering what's going on. It seems a little crazy. A lot of us can't go to the store. Some of us can't go to school. We've got to stay inside. And sometimes that can be a little scary. But one of the things we're going to do is we're going to keep you hopeful. And we're going to remind you of all that God promises us because he's got good things in store for us. So we're gonna spend story time together, we're gonna learn Bible stories, and we're gonna have devotionals. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a devotional. So mom and dad, if you wanna follow along, this is the devotional we're gonna use. It says, Jesus today. And I assure you, we need him today more than ever. But first, before we go into our devotional, I wanna tell you some of the things you can do. You can be a part of every time we film. How, you might ask? Well, you can email me at cm at Rock of Roseville, and I want to hear jokes. I want you guys to send me ideas on how I can dress. I want you even to tell me what you're doing during this break, because I love you guys, and I miss you, and I don't want to lose connection with you. Another thing you can do is you can go out into the community when it's safe, with mom and dad to thank people. It could be a neighbor. It could be someone who's still working. It could be someone who's serving your food or bagging your groceries. But I want you to tell me how you are bringing thankfulness to the community around you. Can you do that? Yeah, I knew you could. So let's jump into today's devotional. We're going to start on page one. Oh, this is going to be a good one, boys and girls. It says, what is hope hope is expecting god to keep his promises and knowing that he will now more than ever the world needs hope and one of the best things about being a christian is that you bring hope to the world so i want to pray for us right now that we continue to keep hope in our hearts and that we help spread hope to our friends our family and our neighbors will you join me Good. Dear Jesus, I just thank you for everyone who's listening today, God. I just thank you for who they are and who you are in their life, God. I just pray that right now, if anyone's feeling a little bit lonely, a little bit sad, a little bit confused, God, that you come and you remind them of who you are and who they are in you. And God, I pray that you give us moments where we can bless other people where we can bring them food, where we can bring them a flower that we saw growing in our yard, or God, even where we can help a neighbor carry groceries in from the car. God, I just pray that you continue to provide us opportunities to bring hope, light, and your love into this world around us. We love you and we praise you for everything you're doing and everything you are. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, boys and girls, that's it for today, but guess what? We'll be back on Monday at noon. 